Imagine a message in a bottle cast adrift on the vast, endless sea, carrying a story from a distant shore. Now imagine that bottle hurled not into water but into the cosmic ocean, the infinite expanse of space that surrounds our tiny blue planet. These are the Voyager spacecraft, our silent ambassadors to the stars, carrying the hopes and dreams of all humanity. Launched nearly half a century ago, they've traveled beyond the outermost planets, venturing into the mysterious realm of interstellar space, farther than any human-made object before them. Their mission began with exploring the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, revealing wonders we had never imagined. But their true destiny was to become the first messengers from Earth to leave the solar system entirely. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are testaments to human curiosity and ingenuity, equipped with delicate instruments that continue to send back precious data from billions of miles away, long after their primary missions ended. Their faint, whispering signals tell us stories from a place no human has ever seen, carrying information about cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and the very edge of our sun's influence. The most profound part of their journey began after their planetary missions, as they approach the boundary where the sun's influence fades and true interstellar space begins, a frontier never before crossed. Scientists watched in awe as these probes crossed into a turbulent unknown frontier, challenging our models of the cosmos and opening a new chapter in the story of human exploration. These robotic explorers are our eyes and ears at the edge of the sun's domain, destined to wander the Milky Way for eons, carrying our message into the unknown. They are a legacy. Humanity's hope, wonder and curiosity, set adrift among the stars a testament to our desire to reach out and connect with the universe beyond. The Voyager missions began in the 1970s during a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years. NASA launched two identical spacecraft, Voyager 2 and Voyager 1, using gravity assist to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Each probe carried cameras, spectrometers, magnetometers and detectors, plus the iconic golden record, a time capsule of Earth's sights and sounds. Voyager 1 revealed Jupiter's great red spot and volcanoes on Io, while Voyager 2 gave us our first close-ups of Uranus and Neptune. Their discoveries transformed the outer solar system from distant points of light into dynamic, complex worlds. After their planetary encounters, the mission was extended to explore the edge of the Sun's domain and enter interstellar space. Their instruments, repurposed for this new phase, began probing the solar wind and interstellar medium. Even decades later the Voyagers continued to reveal astonishing secrets about our cosmic neighborhood. Their journey proves that exploration never truly ends. The sun constantly breathes a stream of charged particles, the solar wind, creating a vast bubble called the heliosphere. This bubble, extending far beyond Pluto, shields us from harsh cosmic radiation. The heliosphere's boundary is shaped by the sun's movement through the galaxy, forming a rounded nose and a trailing tail. Understanding this dynamic frontier is crucial, as it's where our solar system meets the galaxy. For decades the heliosphere's edge was only a theory, the Voyager spacecraft offered the first chance to measure it directly. Their mission, find the edge of this bubble, cross it, and reveal what lies beyond. As they traveled outward, their instruments were ready to detect the signs of leaving the sun's influence. The data they sent back would redefine our understanding of the solar system's true boundary. The journey to the edge had begun. As Voyager approached the distant edge of the heliosphere, it encountered a remarkable phenomenon known as the termination shock. The point in space where the solar wind, which streams outward from the sun at supersonic speeds, abruptly slows down due to the increasing pressure of the interstellar medium pushing back. In 2004, Voyager 1 detected a sudden and dramatic drop in solar wind speed, along with a noticeable rise in both temperature and particle density, confirming that it had crossed this invisible boundary at about 94 astronomical units from the sun, a distance more than twice as far as Pluto's orbit. Voyager 2, following a slightly different path, crossed the termination shock at 84 AU, revealing that the heliosphere isn't a perfect sphere, but rather an asymmetric ever-changing bubble shaped by the forces of the galaxy. Beyond the termination shock lies the helio sheath, a vast, turbulent zone where the solar wind is slowed, compressed and jostled by the interstellar medium, creating a chaotic environment. Here, the sun's magnetic field lines become stretched and distorted, and the flow of charged particles turns unpredictable and chaotic, swirling in complex patterns. 
the Voyager probes spent years traversing this mysterious region, uncovering a complex dynamic boundary that scientists had only theorized about before. Their data revealed the presence of magnetic bubbles and stagnant zones, clear evidence that the frontier at the edge of our solar system was far more intricate and active than anyone had expected. This turbulent region was the final buffer, the last protective layer before the true interstellar void. The last and most significant barrier to cross was the heliopause, the ultimate boundary where the sun's influence finally ends and the realm of interstellar space truly begins. With this, the stage was set for Voyager's historic leap into the vast uncharted territory of interstellar space. The heliopause marks the ultimate boundary, where the sun's solar wind is balanced by the interstellar medium. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 crossed this frontier at 122 AU, as solar particles dropped and galactic cosmic rays spiked. It was the first human-made object in interstellar space. Yet, a puzzle emerged. The magnetic field's direction didn't change as expected, even though its strength increased. This mystery sparked debate. Had Voyager truly crossed or was it in a strange transitional zone? The answer came when a solar flare shockwave reached Voyager, causing the plasma to ring. Scientists measured the plasma's density, 40 times higher than inside the heliosphere, confirming Voyager was in interstellar space. The boundary was more complex than anyone imagined. Voyager's crossing redefined our understanding of the solar system's edge. The journey into the galaxy had truly begun. News headlines dramatically called it a wall of fire at the edge of our solar system, but that phrase is actually quite misleading. The reality is far more fascinating and complex than the fiery imagery suggests. The so-called heat at the heliopause doesn't mean burning flames like we see on Earth, instead, it refers to the temperature of plasma, the speed at which its charged particles are zipping around, not combustion. Outside the heliopause, the plasma can reach scorching temperatures of up to 50,000 degrees Celsius, yet it's so incredibly sparse, just a handful of particles in every cubic centimeter, that it wouldn't feel hot to us at all. Voyager isn't burning up as it travels. Instead, it's gliding effortlessly through a near-perfect vacuum, surrounded by emptiness rather than flames. This region is heated by the compression of the interstellar medium, as the heliosphere, our sun's protective bubble, plows through it creating a bow wave much like a ship moving through water. The so-called wall of fire is actually a region of superheated, compressed plasma, shaped and energized by our solar system's ongoing journey through the galaxy's vast expanse. Voyager's sensitive instruments revealed that the interstellar medium is far from cold and empty, instead it's a dynamic, energetic environment constantly shifting and full of surprises. This groundbreaking discovery has profound implications for our understanding of how solar systems interact with their galactic environments, influencing everything from cosmic rays to the boundaries of habitability. The edge of our solar system is not a quiet static boundary but a turbulent superheated frontier, constantly in motion and far more active than we once imagined. Thanks to Voyager's incredible journey and discoveries, our view of the cosmic neighborhood has been forever transformed, revealing a universe more dynamic and interconnected than we ever dreamed. Once in interstellar space, Voyager 1 and 2 became our first direct probes of the galactic environment. They measured the interstellar magnetic field, stronger than expected and still aligned with the suns at the boundary. The probes also detected a much higher intensity of galactic cosmic rays, revealing the true radiation environment beyond the heliosphere. Plasma density measurements showed the interstellar medium is denser and more variable than previously thought. Voyager 1 found the density increases farther from the heliopause, suggesting our solar system is moving through a patchy interstellar cloud. With two probes in different directions, we now have a stereoscopic view of the interstellar medium. Voyager 2's crossing showed the boundary is not uniform, it's smoother and thinner in some places. These differences reveal the heliopause is a complex changing surface. Together the Voyagers are mapping our solar system's interaction with the galaxy in three dimensions. The Voyager missions have redrawn our map of the solar system and our place in the galaxy. They turn theoretical boundaries like the termination shock and heliopause into real measured locations. Voyager's discoveries revealed our solar system is deeply connected to its galactic environment. The hot, dense plasma and puzzling magnetic fields at the edge have challenged and refined scientific models. Their longevity, operating for nearly five decades, demonstrates the value of long-term exploration. Engineers have kept them running with ingenious solutions, allowing them to complete their interstellar mission. Voyager's story is a lesson in curiosity and persistence, 
showing that the greatest discoveries come when we push beyond the original plan. These probes carrying the golden record are symbols of our hope to connect with other life in the cosmos. Their journey has forever expanded our horizons and changed how we see our home. The Voyagers have answered many questions but opened the door to even more. They're now exploring the region just beyond the heliopause, revealing the fine texture of space between stars. The Oort Cloud, a vast, theoretical shell of icy bodies, remains far beyond their reach, a challenge for future generations. The probes will fall silent soon, but will continue drifting through the Milky Way for millions of years. Their paths may one day take them near other stars, but not for tens of thousands of years. They'll become relics, a testament to a species that dared to reach for the stars. As we listen to their final whispers, we're reminded of the ultimate question, what else is out there? The Voyagers have crossed the threshold into the galactic wilderness, showing us the universe is more complex and beautiful than we imagined. Their journey is just the beginning, an invitation to keep exploring the great unknown.